what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about scream 6 and just a little bit about what i think could happen or what i would like to see happen in the opening uh, just like a little theory of mine so as far as like the film's opening we know that could go a variety of different ways there has not been an official announcement yet but we all know that it's pro that's probably coming given that the movie has screen five that being has passed the hun over the hundred million mark and it's expected to get like an extra 20 to 25 million i think before it leaves theaters because we did actually find out that it's coming to digital on march 1st so it has quite a while left to get above 120 125 hopefully it gets even higher than that that six movie announcement is coming sooner or later but jumping into my opening that i'm thinking of thinking of i would like to see a opening with gail weathers and i think i've talked about this in another video where they could have done something like this during the during screen five of course we didn't get anything like this but a opening with gail weathers and a guest of hers on her morning show that gets a phone call in from Ghostface. They think it's just a prank because we could say that there's been a lot of prank phone calls going around and those are still a thing very much so in this in the Scream universe uh, given that the app that's out there, if that app is still a thing, but just in general, because we know you can go get that voice changer and still make prank phone calls. Let's just say that's a thing still in the Scream universe. We, we saw a first glimpse of that in Scream 2. So they get a phone call during this panel that she has with her guests who i will say is christina carpenter who we know is the baby mother of billy loomis the mother of sam carpenter and tara carpenter and what happens is since the events of screen five you could say that she's kind of garnered some type of attention the attention that she had been trying to avoid sam has garnered some attention as well given her status as being billy loomis's daughter there's some attention that tara has garnered as well given her connection to both of them not being a relative of billy but being a relative of someone who's a relative to billy that being her sister and as far as just like all the stuff that she was trying to avoid which is why we didn't know about sam in the events of scream 2 scream 3 scream 4 all of that has finally caught up to christina and sam alike and since the events of scream 5 have become public knowledge that stuff has bled to information getting over to the stab reddit forum getting over to the woodsboro forum let's say just any and all forms that might have to do with the woodsboro killings so sam's status as being billy's daughter is all over the internet at this point christina has that attention that she never want wanted to have but at this point in her life uh you know she's just making the best of it she's gonna appear on gail weather's show as a guest and she's gonna answer some questions about billy loomis maybe even how they came to meet let's just say for a second and they get a phone call from Ghostface. They think it's a prankster. The segment ends with Gail maybe giving a little smart Gail Weathers like remark to the caller. <laughs> and then Ghostface makes a little remark back to both of them, telling them to wash their back tonight or something when they leave the studio. They hang up and you know gail leaves the studio christina sticks around though or actually let's say christina christina comes back because she she forgot something and she gets attacked in the studio by ghostface ghostface attacks christina this again be sam and tara's mother we could have a long drawn out chase sequence happening in the studio where gail weather shoots her morning show no one's in the studio at this point it's just christina and ghostface uh, the ghost face person that's stalking her and taunting her in this in this studio would, of course, reveal themselves to be the one who called in just now that they thought was a prankster on the on the show with them. And the opening would end with Christina dying to kick off Scream 6. We would start off Scream 6 with Christina Carpenter, the mother of Sam and Tara Carpenter, getting killed off to start start off the new film. Now, of course, that would lead to. The, the aspect of it. I know a lot of us would still like to know stuff about Christina. You can still find out things about Christina. She doesn't have to be in the movie. I know there were plans originally for her to be in Screen 5, but they, Matt and Tyler, I think, recently came out and said that just never made it into the final cut. She was in the script. I think if you read the, the actual draft of the script that's out there, Christina Carpenter does have a scene or two, I think, in the movie that just never got filmed from for whatever reason. But... You can still find things out about her if you're someone who's dying to know about Christina and her ties to Billy. Maybe even see scenes between her and Sydney, and just learn more about her relationship between her, Sam, and Tara. You can still get all of that. We can have many countless flashbacks for the first time in the franchise showing us these uh, characters interacting prior to Sam leaving town when Tara was younger. 
and just maybe even a little bit of them getting back together prior or after the events of Scream 5, even before Christina, of course, dies at the opening of Scream 6. We don't need her to be alive to learn these, get these answers for any question that you have about her. But who would be playing Christina in this opening? Now, of course, I would want to say this should be a well-known actress. And I know people have been throwing out Salma Hayek and Jennifer Lopez. I would love to see either one of them in that role as Christina Carpenter as the opening kill. I think Jennifer Lopez might be the better fit for it, though, honestly. That's just my opinion. Um, if Salma Hayek were to be cast as Christina Carpenter, let's just say, and she was the opening attack, I, I don't think that she would do a bad job. I just think, given what I know about J-Lo and what she brings to the table when she's giving these acting roles... Uh, I think that she could pull it off a lot, a lot better, just in my honest opinion. I think people would also prefer J-Lo. I think mostly if you're going to go with that famous person opening, J-Lo or Salma Hayek would be, either one of them would be perfect for that role. I just think they'll probably find more value in J-Lo in that role. And I think J-Lo could knock it out of the park again. And we could see countless things of Christina still throughout the movie as it's progressing. But that's just what I was thinking of as far as like an opening for Scream 6. Having Christina Carpenter as a guest on Gail Weathers Morning Show. And Gail asked her some questions about Billy Loomis and all the attention she's now getting and how she kept it a secret so long. Maybe why she kept it a secret. You know, you can get all these things answered because I know some people still have that still have the argument that it doesn't make sense that we didn't know about this child for all this time. But again, the mother has the right to not disclose that info, especially considering the details that came out about the father of her child. He is a mass murderer. <laughs> the girlfriend of that mass murderer is getting countless unwanted press attention there's a franchise about said mass murderer and now you have a child that's his that you have to raise you don't want that child to be growing up with all that all that negative attention around her what kind of life could sam have had as a kid so i think that that could be a way to kind of rationalize any and all types of doubts about how they kind of maybe feel shoehorned about the whole sam being billy's daughter thing i think that's a good way to answer those questions or clear up that clear up that uh pressure for a lot of screen fans that watch the fifth movie but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video